Yo guys, how's it going? So Sentiment R24 was just recently released. I already had uh, somebody uh, request on YouTube that I make a video uh, with my gaming setup. So for CP, you're running an i9 1300KS CP at 5.7 GHz all quarter clock. And then I'm running that on a uh, MSI Z690 Unified motherboard. And for cooling the CP, I'm running a Corsair H170i e light LCD with 420mm radiator. Plenty of uh, case cooling. I'm running a Corsair Obsidian 1000D Super Tower case, so it's a very large case with lots of uh, fans. So cooling should not be an issue. And then for GP, I'm running Asus Strix RTX 4090 graphics card. And those are the clock speeds I'm going to be running at. I'm running a resizable bar. And uh, for MSI Afterburner, we're running 100% core voltage, uh, forced, power limit raised 120%. Temp limit says 83C, core clock initial 170 megahertz, and memory additional 1185 megahertz memory, uh, memory overclock. So this, uh, the fan, I will have it at 100%. I just currently have it auto because I don't want it blaring uh, when I try to make this little voice over here. And then for RAM, I'm running uh, G Skill Z5 DDR5 PC component RAM. And then these are the timings I'm running at. We are running in the XMP mode. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and get this test started. I know it's gonna take a while to run. So we'll go ahead and start it. And let me just do one thing. Set my fan to 100% uh, here. And then those are the, looks like the clock speeds that are gonna be in the GPU during this test, which will take, it looks like a little over nine minutes long. So we'll let this run. And I will come back to it towards the end, and then we'll see uh, how everything goes towards the end of the video. And then we will also do the CPU multi-core test and the single core uh, test as well, so stay tuned. So I'll come back a little bit later before this is done, and then uh, we'll see what happens, so stay tuned. Okay, we're just about wrapping up to the end here. It looks like it's at 10 seconds less. As long as it takes longer than it actually says, but uh, we made a total of 68 passes. And this is the score we're currently at, so. Finishing rendering. So we got 37,626 of my Asus Strix RTX 49 graphics card. So next we'll do the, the CP mostly core tests and uh, we'll see how it runs. So let me go ahead and just show you the temps very briefly in core temp here as I start to test and we'll let it run and then when it's done I will come back again after nine minutes and we'll show the total results. This is where the temps are sitting at with my Corsair H170i light LCD with uh, i9-1300KS CP at 5.7 gear all quarter of a clock. So stay tuned toward the end, and then uh, we'll get the results. Stay tuned. Okay guys, the multi-core test is almost done. Just a few seconds left, and these are the temperatures that I maxed out at. So it looks like core number five maxed out at 92 degrees Celsius. So it's doing the finish rendering uh, pass here, and then uh, we'll see after five passes what the results will be. Looks like it's still doing one more little final pass here, and then we'll get the results. So once it finishes, I will show you the final score. Okay, so while it finishes here, one thing I forgot to mention is I am running a 5 gigahertz, um, what do you call it? My brain just stopped working for a second, so let me uh, let this test finish, and I'll probably remember what it was. It's finishing the last pass here, and we'll get the results of the multi core test. Okay, so we got 2,303 points on my i9 1300K SCP at 5.7 gigahertz all core of clock. Okay, so next we'll do the uh, single core test, and then uh, we will see what the next test uh, score will be. Stay tuned.
And it was ring ratio, ring ratio, five gigahertz ring ratio. That's why I wanted to mention uh, for my CPU. Okay, back to it. Okay guys, we're here uh, finishing the test and looks like the final score for CPU single core is 128 points. So that concludes the testing of Cinnamon's R24. I did reboot once uh, during one of the tests. I had some issues, so there is uh, no, it's not showing the GPU score, but earlier I did show the uh, score earlier in this video. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, give it a like. And so that's how my 4090, let me go ahead and turn off this MSI after the runner. Fan noise here. <laughs> All right, some peace and quiet. So I, I, uh, that concludes how my uh, system runs with i9 1300 KSCP at 5.7 GHz total core clock and Asus Strix RTX 4090 at 170 megahertz core clock. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more cards like this, so benchmarks, uh, car videos, and other uh, random nonsense, uh, feel free to subscribe. So thanks for watching and appreciate all the support. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out and thanks for watching. Later.